Hey guys, uh, John Wise here with Comageddon. I know it's been a while since I've been on here. Um, maybe we'll go over some explanations some other time on what happened, but uh, it's good to be back. Uh, what a way to come back. Um, my review of Scooby Doo Team Up. Um, Scooby Doo meets Green Lantern and Green Arrow. Um, so, right off the bat, now, reading this, I had to keep in mind, this is oriented more towards children. Uh, and everybody knows I'm a huge Green Lantern fan. This here is actually a Green Lantern blanket. And uh, I have, I don't know if I can go over there, I have a little Green Lantern shrine, kind of. So, I'm a huge Green Lantern fan. Um, which probably why I was a little picky on this issue. Um, so, a uh, little, little bit of the story, not a whole lot, let's go ahead and read it. But, uh, basically, um, Mystery Inc., Scooby-Doo and the gang, um, end up in a town where, uh, they're, the, the, these aged hippies are being haunted by the ghosts of their parents. Their parents are going, oh, why haven't you got a job, or when are you going to cut your hair, you know, typical things that you would hear back in the 50s, 60s, the 60s, um, hippie days. Um, and the gang, of course, uh, get themselves um, involved in this mystery, and uh, who should show up to help but Green Lantern and Green Arrow, who are um, on a road trip to find the, um, the spirit of America. Um, like, what makes America great, that type of thing. Uh, okay, cool. Um, but it's I, it, it's not the best storyline because um, the book told. I mean, I mean, you figure okay, Green Lantern and Green Arrow in this book. Um, you figure okay, I know who the villain. I know who's making these ghosts. It's probably going to be somebody like Sinestro or you know nothing cool like that. Um, without giving away the mystery ending uh, on who did it, uh, pretty lame. Uh, and, and, I mean, it make Yeah, pretty lame. I can't justify it. Uh, I'm a huge Green Lantern fan. Um, if I can find this issue, I'll probably pick it up just because it has Green Lantern in it. Um, and Scooby-Doo. My girlfriend loves Scooby-Doo, so that she won't object to me buying another comic book that I probably shouldn't be buying. Uh, so, yeah. Um, for a kid's book, for a, book that, for a comic book that's supposed to be for children, um, this has a nice, nice de decent lesson, I guess, you know. Um, out of five stars, I could probably give it a maybe about three for a children's book. Um, but for a comic book fan, a fan of Green Lantern, probably one and a half, two stars out of five. So, nah, I wasn't feeling it. Uh, so there you go. There's my review on the um, issue comic book uh, Scooby-Doo team up uh, meets Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Um, I will say this uh, kind of spoilage. So if you don't want to know. Um, the book doesn't end. It actually says to be continued at the bottom at the end of the book. Which kind of, for this kind of a storyline in that, it makes no sense. What happens with Green Lantern and Green Arrow really didn't make a whole lot of sense either at the end, which is why it's to be continued. So, maybe i got to read the next issue to really enjoy this one. I don't know. So, uh, there you go. Hope you enjoy. Uh, good to be back at Comageddon. Hope to be getting back to the uh, Comageddon podcast here real soon. Um, I'm in better health for anybody who knows and what's, who, who knows what happened and everything. I'm in better health. Uh, if, and I will catch all of you guys, uh, on, again on Comageddon podcast, hopefully.